Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you four awesome methods on how you can fix the Touch ID on your iPhone device. And this will work for all iPhone models that do have the Touch ID enabled. So the very first thing I do recommend trying, and this is by far the most obvious solution, and that is to actually go ahead and clean the Touch ID kind of area where you put your finger. And this is by far the most frequent issue that I run into um, when this becomes dirty and full and filled with dust and grease and grime um, this doesn't allow your finger to be red um, so if I just go ahead and just show you there um, as you can see there's a lot of dirt and build up and grease so if I just go ahead and clean this with a tissue or a wipe that will go ahead and remove a lot of the grease and I can also go ahead and clean my fingers as well and just wipe my fingers on my pants or on a piece of material as our fingers can become quite oily as well. So now I can go ahead and retry that and I know that is a really obvious fix um, but that does seem to work really really well. So the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and restart our iPhone device. Um, so much like when we restart our computer, um, the same is for the iPhone. If there's any temporary glitches or issues, we can just go ahead and restart. So if you have an iPhone 8 or above, you can restart your iPhone device by quickly pressing the volume up, the down, and then holding on to the lock screen button. So I'll just do that now. So up, down, Press onto the lock screen and then I'll keep pressing onto this until my iPhone powers down and then restarts. And if you're on the older version of the iPhone, you can restart your device by pressing the home button and the lock screen button together for about 15 seconds until the device restarts. So as an add-on for this fix, I've found it's really good just to go ahead and turn your device off. And when you turn it on, you want to press on the home button. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to power down my device. I'm going to turn it off. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and power on my iPhone. So I'm just going to hold on to the lock screen button until the iPhone powers on. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to hold on to the home screen button and just press my finger on there until it restarts. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And now I'm going to open my phone. Now hopefully once you've done that, your Touch ID will now be working. So if none of these fixes have worked for you, the last thing you want to try is to go into your settings, go down to Touch ID and Passcode. And I'm just going to put in my passcode. Now once you're in here, you actually want to go ahead and delete all of the saved fingerprints that you currently have on your iPhone. And you mainly want to do this as there may be a temporary glitch or bug that may be causing the iPhone not to read any of the fingerprints that you have already saved. So you can easily delete a saved fingerprint by just tapping on it and then you can go ahead and delete fingerprint. And once you've gone ahead and done that, you then wanna go ahead and add a new fingerprint and just follow the same process for adding the Touch ID fingers. Okay guys, so as a last ditch attempt on how to fix the Touch ID, you actually wanna go ahead and firmly press around the Touch ID area and especially if you have an older version of the iPhone which has the tactile button, sometimes this can get dislodged or maybe disconnected from the iPhone. So you just want to go ahead and firmly press and as an addition to this you can also get a toothbrush and maybe just dislodge any dirt or grime that may be built up in there as well. So there you have it guys, that's just some simple tips and tricks that you can try to get your Touch ID to work again on your iPhone device. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you've found any of these solutions to work or maybe you've found your own please share them down below in the comment section as you'll be helping hundreds if not thousands of other iphone users out there so as always thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next one